All right, y'all. We got uh, Peasy in the building. Yeah. Born hit maker. What's going on, man? man? man just overly working, man. Just overly working and staying out of the way, man. Staying prayed up. Well, first yes, off, sir. I'd like to uh, thank you for giving us this interview, man. You know what I'm saying? We definitely appreciate it, man. Sure. Thank you all for having you know me, saying? man. We're going to tap into a few questions. Like, I know the fans want to know, man. Like, um, what was it like for you? Was you born and raised in Atlanta? Yeah, I'm born and raised. Okay, what was it like for you, you know what I'm saying, growing up in Atlanta? I say, like, for the most part, like, like from a child, it was fun. Then, you know, when, when you get older and, shit, you know, start getting real, you know what I'm saying, you start seeing, seeing shit you ain't supposed to see at, a, at your age. Mm -hmm. So I say, like, it was fun up to, like, 13. Okay. 13, feel like I started seeing shit I ain't supposed to see at 13, you feel me? Because the environment, I wasn't no bad kid, but it's just the environment, I had to adapt to where I went. Okay. I'm going to move me straight to the hood. Like, we always been in the hood. I don't been over all over the city. I'm from the west side, but I don't stay in, like, Every every side, I've been on the east side, I've been on the west side, I've mm -hmm. been on the south, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been on the north. But, like, we always moved in the, the middle of the hood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I learned a lot just from just being there. Okay. So, at what age did you start taking taking uh, interest in music? Uh, I say I've been freestyling since I was, like, 12, but I say I started taking it serious, like, I said, like, 20... 17, 2016, 2017. I got a little older, like 17 years old. And started really just pushing my own, like pushing it. Okay. So, 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 like, um, when you started excelling in music, like, describe that for us. Like, what happened? Was it a studio session? What, what was it? It was a studio session when I, like, as it said, like, as in, like, getting bigger. Yeah. It was a studio session at the real that I'll never forget. I had gotten to a car wreck. And they just paid me. I blew my whole, like, my whole insurance check on, on music, bro. I swear to God, like, straight music, so. Oh, yeah, you so, were serious. We was in Ed the Real studio, Ed the Real. We do a song. See what I'm saying? One of the bros how, come in late. He, we done with the song. He come in late. Like, let me put it, put this on the end of the verse. Okay. He put some shit on the end of the verse, and the part he did on the end of the verse blew up. This, this, like, him. Three, four, I say three, four weeks after the song. After we put the song out, mm -hmm. it blew up. Okay. I swear to God, like three, four, within three, four weeks, we ain't had no social media, nothing. We just put the song out. It just started going and going out, and it was like Dub Smash and Triller. That's when before TikTok was hit. Man, I just woke up and I just heard Stuart Rock, like, who are these kids? Somebody find these kids, I'm looking for them. He played the song on the radio. That was my first time ever hearing myself on the radio. I done that like cry. I didn't know like <laughs> how, how, how much work I've been put in. From, even from from a young age, like I'm like, boy, it's crazy to just hear yourself on the radio, just knowing and in the back of your head, like, but y'all just don't know how many lots I took and what I done did and none of that. It just felt crazy, man. So, so in your mind, like, how did you build on that momentum? Uh, I say like, how did I build on it? I say like, I just took it and just kind of like the mistakes I built from all the mistakes I made. Basically, that's just me. Period. Like, I I built from my mistakes. Like, when I do something right, I do it right, but mistakes, I look at the mistakes more than anything because that's what I learn from. Okay. Like, if you, if you do something good, you can learn from it, but, like, you ain't gonna, you done did good, so you ain't gonna do never get the big head, but you take a loss, you gonna, you can learn something more because you gonna feel the type of way. So I learned from the losses I took from, from blowing up, from not having no business, no business lawyer, from not having, you know what I'm saying, having no knowledge of nothing in the music industry. Having to learn on the way. Having to learn on the way up. Okay, okay. Now your your style is unique. Um, I sat through one of your sessions, right? And coming up with the stuff that you come up with, like how? I just I just go in the I just go in my head. I really can't just explain it to like I, I just feel like God gave me a gift just for me. But I feel like I just go in my head. I don't need no drug or nothing. I just think about it. Like think about what I'm going through. It's all about feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's all about how I'm feeling that day. So if I'm feeling that day, if I just smack something that day or anything, like it's just gonna come out like that. Okay. I would say something about it and it just flow. It just in me. Is music an outlet for you? Definitely. Big outlet. That's all I do. Like people be saying, yeah, do something else. But I just be going to the studio. Even I be thinking like I gotta do something else. But when I go do something else, it don't help me. But someone I go to the studio, it be like, I'm oh good. wow. It's crazy. So you've been popping for a minute. Yeah. 
So yeah. describe this feeling for us, man. There's a lot of people out there that want this. Okay, with the, with the 2017 buzz, with the 2017 buzz, it was like I was in the group. Okay. So like it wasn't, I didn't get the shine I needed. So I'm saying, I'm going to say, because I was in the shell. And like I was just, I, I wasn't ready, ready for real. I just was rapping, you know what I'm saying? I ain't expected it to go up. Mm -hmm. So when we went up, I was always like me. They just me, I'm, I always been like laid back, watching watch a nigga type, type person, you know what I'm saying? So like, when the song blew up, nobody never knew who I was. They, you know, I was on the hook. I'd go to the show and shit, and they'd be looking at me like, who that buddy is? You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that this is down my song. I played the hook. You feel me? But they just asking like, who that buddy is? But, you know, I'm a team player. At the time, we a team. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't never taking it like, I felt the type of way for me. I ain't feel the type of way to the, the game. But me, I feel the type of way like, damn, what I got to do? Like, how, how can I stand out? Because they, uh, they, they Instagram the shit, woo, woo. Like they, they Instagram way like they had they been popping on Instagram before okay. I, my shit even Ted Huncho and uh facts mm -hmm. they shit been one up okay and I ain't really take gravitate to that yet that part yet you know what I'm saying because I wasn't ready yet. I, I ain't kept so like when they first that first blow up like it was a blow up like, I seen a lot but it, like it wasn't me it wasn't P's it was okay. B H O okay so give us an idea of the experience of like um. Like right now, I know you got fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, give us a, a description of that feeling of realizing that the fans know who you are. Man, it, it, it be it be it be it be funny. It be it be feel good. And sometimes it be scary. It depends on what, what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm out in my arm, I'm just chilling. I see a couple folks walking. Let me get a picture. I'm like, nah, they're crazy. I just remember I just told you about the group. Yeah. They weren't doing it. Mm -hmm. I'd be in the mall, like, I'm like, nah, they, they pushing up on them boys. I don't even know me. You feel me? But now, I walk in the mall, I can't even go shop, bro. I can't, I swear to God, I can't even go shop. I go in the mall, and I'm like, hey, bro, what's up? He keep going. Somebody walk up on me, let me get a picture. Somebody like, from young to old, I had an old lady push up on me. Let me get a picture, mm -hmm. baby. I sing this song. Oh, damn. It's feel good, though. Feels yeah, great. to have your city behind you like that, yeah. I know that's got to be a beautiful feeling, man. And I and I, and I appreciate that, because like, at first, I just really never felt like the city was behind me. I still feel like that a little bit now, but like at first, when I first was really just doing it, it just felt, but I know everybody go through that, though. Right. It's, 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 it's a part of the game, but like, that just the worst feeling ever when you just put on for a city, you just feel like, but these folks ain't even hear me. Right. And you know you hard. Okay. Outside of your music, like, uh, what industry artists do you listen to? Uh, I listen to Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Selena Gomez. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, got, I listen a lot. I, I don't just listen to rap. Okay. I listen to everything. But Selena Gomez and Kevin Gates probably like top two, I say. Uh, who? Thug, Future, you know. Uh, who else? I like, I like, I like, I really like out of town artists though. Like, I like okay. uh, Meat Mill. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? I keep going. Who else? I been? Who else? I been really just vibing with. I like the young nigga Rat Baby. Okay. He hard. Okay. The, the, the Rat Baby young nigga, he hard. Uh, baby Kill, cool. You got any favorite songs out of your out of your catalog? Like, do you have a, like a one favorite? From 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 all the artists? From you? From me? Yeah, My from, song? from your catalog, yeah. From, from my songs or from the artist? From you. Like, do you have a favorite song out of your own catalog? Uh, right now, sometimes. That's the I got yeah, song called Sometimes. I, yeah, I recorded it here. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's here. I it's like crazy because I really feeling like that on that song though. Like when I came in here, mm -hmm. I really got down. Really was fucked up for real. Okay. I just needed to record. <laughs> okay. That's why that be came out like that. Yeah. I just heard, heard went through some shit, heard some shit, and just. Shit, they make you want to work, man. Okay. So when did you know, okay, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? Like, this is what I want to make my career out of? When I got my first, like, big advance. Not even just, not even just the money, just, like, just to know that you can really get paid. Mm -hmm. Like, when I start seeing, not even, I wouldn't even say advance. I say when I start seeing my, my royalty checks mm -hmm. and my Apple checks and all that, mm -hmm. this is something I can make a living off of. Even okay. though I was blowing the money when I when I first right. got again, I was just blowing, <laughs> buying shoes and just back to back mall. I ain't think about no apartment, no house. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting the shit like for the, for the music, but like I ain't even think about nothing. I was laying on my grandma's float back, got them five six thousand dollars 
Younger Hills. I ain't, I ain't thought about no apartment or nothing. So, so right now you make a living strictly off music. Strictly off music. Oh man, that's got to be beautiful. I ain't dipping and dabbing in the street no nothing. Cause it's like I know, well, I know where I'm finna go. So I can't, I can't afford to take no losses in the street or nothing. So I just gotta stay straight. Music. You conversing like with any record labels right now or? All, all, not all of them. Then all of them. Probably all of them you can think of, like literally. Okay. You say a name, I don't talk to them. Okay, so so what's the interest? Like you, any of them you interested in working with? I, I like Interscope. Tell like us, tell us why. I just like how they came. I just like how they came and how they do their artists. Also, okay. like I just like how they do their artists and how they treat them. So how was their approach? Like how how did they reach out to you through um, email or email? Okay, they took contact my own manager. Okay. Contact my management, man. JB and Matt, man. Shout out my management team, man. They contact them folks and, you know what I'm saying, went, there, went through them like that. And I talked to them. Do you still, do you get butterflies when you perform? Yeah, when it's a big, like when it's a big crowd. Okay. Because I still haven't, like, got that breakout song to where I'm in front of a big, big crowd yet. Okay. I'd have been in front of a big crowd, but I just ain't got the breakout to where, like, everybody just... And I just can't wait to that moment right there. Okay. Yeah. What's the biggest, um, have you done an arena or anything like that yet? Or? No, I ain't did an arena. I say the biggest show, I I mean, that I know, that my knowledge of, that I did, was probably with uh, Boston, Boston Rich, Boston brought me up. Okay. And like, they were screaming, putting the lights up. And I was what like, What song did you, what song, what, which, which album did, was this? I did Body Bad. Body Bad, okay. Yeah, song called Body Bad. Okay. Before get to put the lights up, web it flow. I, I performed like three different songs. That shit felt good though. Okay. So, um, any other cities that you've like performed in or anything? Like New York, Cali? Uh, I ain't been in New York, Cali yet, but I was, uh, what, uh, I've been in the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. I've been in, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. I'm booked in Alaska. I got a show in Alaska coming up. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's what's up. Well, we did some Florida show. Man, we've been on the road so much. Okay. I can't. <laughs> Just for that Webby Flow song, we done been out all over like the outskirts and little country town. Okay. Yeah. So is there is there like a a process that you go through when you go to the studio? Like, what's your process? Can you describe that for us? Yeah. I water. Grab me a water before I go. Grab me a water, some gummy worms or some gummy battles, sweet candy or some. Get a lot of candy and just work. I don't really have no super process. I don't do no drugs or nothing, so I just go in the booth, talk to the engineer, make sure everything right, make sure you have a template. I don't like my plugins already ready on there. Okay. Like you know how you okay. like yeah. you got a preset up. Yeah. yeah. I like I like to record my preset up. Like, I don't want to start from scratch. Okay. So I like take my sound with me, even though I can. Tell the engineer how I want the sound. I just like to take my sound with me. To shit. So you don't you don't smoke or drink? Nah, I me mean, on the cage I drink now. Okay. On the cage, all on the cage though. I ain't just, you ain't gonna just keep me drinking like. Do on you the have block, a specific drink. sip that you like to drink? Uh, I like Hennessy. I like Paul. Uh, I don't really know too much about liquor though. Okay. Only two I really okay. know about. Hey man, that's rare right there within itself. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Man. Shit, I don't know that. Oh, yeah, on Long Island. My okay. boy put my neck. Okay. I didn't be drinking no motherfucker. But then, I, don't, I swear to God, them like the only three liquors I know about. I swear. Everything. I don't even, I don't know nothing else to ask for. They be like, what you want to drink? I just be like, oh, let me get a hand. Or let me get a Long Island or something. But that's all I know. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. So, outside of music, let's let's tap into your, your normal life. Like, yeah. what's a day-to-day -day like for you outside of music? Man, I like to shop. I like to go get clothes and get fresh. See, but a day to day to me, I say like, I go. I like to be around family. You know okay. what I'm saying? I got, I like to be around family a lot. So I, day to day to me, I really be in the house, man. Okay. I really play the game or something. Kick back. I just be like start away, but when, like for fun, I go. I go kick it on the block. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I go kick it on the block, Chinatown. Kick with the game, just you know. You seem Talk. you seem very well grounded, man. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that is refreshing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of artists, 
Like they don't, they feel like they have a certain image they have to uphold. Man, when you don't seen what you seen, when you don't seen shit like really not seen shit, it'll make you like that. Like it'll make you grounded because you don't see, you know, like you, I don't seen the hardest, toughest nigga fold on the uh, type of prayer. I don't seen the hard, and I thought with that told like so like I don't even wanna. You feel me? I ain't even trying to even if, even if I got to portray it, I'm gonna do it if I gotta do it. If I gotta do something, something like, I ain't looking for nothing. So like I'm gonna stay like that. Cause it's like, but I really don't seen. I don't seen a lot. So I need came. You gotta have to really had to show me like I don't seen really a lot. I don't seen punk faking do everything like punk do punk faking in the street everything. I don't stay in the bluff. When I moved to the bluff, I seen a lot like that one hood grew me up. Just standing at one place to grew me. Up, I swear to God like. Okay. Standing in one neighborhood, grew me all the way up, like, and just made me the person I am today. Okay. It gave me my attitude, the way I moved, all that. Okay. So, making the type of money that you make from streams and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, on your own, Yeah. does that make it harder for you to want to sign to a label? I, it, it'll make you feel like damn. If I could do it on my own, I could do it. But it like, they ain't gonna let you do that. They ain't gonna. If you want to be big, big, like you really want to be something, they ain't gonna let you just like do it dolo. You gotta, you gotta have them, them, them relationships. Okay. So it like, even if you was to be a solo artist, you got to have some type of relationship in the industry. You can't just straight go up. Okay. I don't believe in it. I don't feel like they got. I feel like you got to have a relationship because it's dumb talent. Like I don't hear all type of rappers. And just like because probably because of the relationship that they don't got the danger just went all the way through the door. Right. So like I feel like relationships are everything right now. So even if you be the hardest, it's it's like two percent talent right now. Like you ain't that shit ain't you hard, okay, who cool. you hard, but what type of work you put in, who you know, where you going, like is you really gonna push yourself. You see what I'm saying? It's about that. It ain't even about it ain't even about rap no more. You hear the you hear what's going on on the radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ain't all that. <laughs> Keep it real. Do you do you do you check the analytics and stuff like that? All on? the time, you I do? check I check the analytics on my Instagram, the algorithm. I know how to get in the algorithm. So so let me ask you this: Where where is your biggest fan base located? Where is your biggest fan? Is it yeah, in Atlanta? Atlanta. It's in Atlanta. Yeah, okay. I got my, my Atlanta, okay. my biggest fan base. Atlanta. Where where would, where would be your second? Uh, New York. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, you got it. You you yeah, you said. Have you visited New York yet? I got family in New York. Okay. I got family in Syracuse and in, in Bronx. Okay. Okay. You just haven't performed there yet. No, nah, I haven't performed in Alabama. Alabama for okay. over too. Alabama. Okay. Okay. No, nah, I haven't performed that yet though. Okay. So 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 after you conquer Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? What what, New York? I'm trying to conquer every city, but I I feel like I already conquered Atlanta like years ago. Okay. They just, I had to just get my face out there, like I had to get them to know Peasy. Right. And not BHO. I had to show them me. And not BHO. You feel me? Because if I would have kept going BHO, I feel like I would have never just came out this year because I was always a group artist. So, like, I was always for the team. I'm still for the team, but, like, I got to do P's. I got to show you for who I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't get to do that in the first go around. So, this shit hurt me bad. So, I got to build my faith now. They they got to know who I am. They got to know Big Drip. They got to know P's. You know, they got to know the hope. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So, so those your other names? Big Drip? Big Drip. The hope. (laughs) Okay. 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 That's what's up, man. Um... Personal life. Yeah. You got a personal life? Like relationship? Yeah, definitely. I got I got a uh, child. I got a baby on the way, man. I got a child. Okay. Sure. It's cool. Okay. okay. You know the uh, you know the gender? No, I don't know none of that yet. Okay. It, 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 okay. It fresh. Okay. So is this yeah. something you just finding out or? It probably been like months. Okay. Months. Okay. That's what's up, man. Yeah, personal life. Man. I don't like dealing with a thousand women, man. I can't even. I ain't gonna say I ain't like it just. I just I don't, I'm a fumble. I'm too, I'm too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm too like, I tell her, I just, hey man, what? I'm talking to you for what you got going on, what's happening, what we doing? Like, I'm just dead, I'm too, I tell a female what I, what I got going on off the bat, like, you gonna barbecue a meal, do I got this going on? You feel me? So, like, <laughs> right. that's why I just, I just did one, cause like, dealing with a lot of them, I ain't gonna be able to, I ain't gonna be able to maintain, I got too much going on in, in the head already. I'm already super creative, I'm a Pisces. Okay. I got a thousand shit going on in my head, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just deal with one female. Really. What what day your birthday fall on? 18, March 18. Okay, okay. Yeah. Pisces, that's what's up. Yeah. So you, um, you love it here? Yeah, I love my city for sure. 
Definitely. It's time to get up out of here, though, but I love it, though. It's time, it time, it time to hit that road, now, though. It's time to get, in the, get out of the city, now, though. Okay. It's time to get my face somewhere else, now. I feel like they don't see me. That's why they ain't, like, they know what's going on. Once I get the hen out, the outskirt is over with, though. Right. Do you it's plan coming. on living in Atlanta, though? Like, permanently? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm living in Atlanta because this is where my whole family is. Okay. I don't want to really leave the city. I want. I, I have, like, multiple spots, though. Like, I want, I want a spot in Texas. Okay. Yeah, I want a spot in Dallas or something, downtown or something. I just want to, but I ain't going to leave the city. I feel like I'm a family man, you know what I'm saying? So, like, even right now, like, I could have been a condo. I could have been got down, you feel me? But I'm housed with. Yeah, you could have been clock, with, yeah. With, with the fam. <laughs> I'm housed with the fam. Like right. I, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what's the craziest thing, if anything, that has, has a fan done to you? I get a lot of crazy rap. I, I, I keep saying the same story like I was in the store. Mm -hmm. The tattoo, yeah, well, pushing up. Like I, just, I had my little sister with me. I walked through his mall. He just keep coming to every store. I'm like, I, I tell my sister, hey, walk out, man. I'm finna have, probably finna have to handle something real quick. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I tell her, walk out. He walk up. He look unlike the hill. He say, let me get a picture. All right. Why you just, why the hell you just been sad that guy? Ain't like, you, you follow me around the mall and shit. Looking like you finna do something, you feel me? You push up, you talking about the picture, man. You can't be doing that, man. Y'all got to learn how to, like, people be human beings, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know we music, I know y'all probably like, you feel me? But you got to learn how to approach people. Like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm totally different. You don't, he don't know what I had in my head. You don't know I had a whoop on him in the, in, right there the whole time <laughs> right. through the jacket. Like, it's right. on you, you feel me? Mm -hmm. What's what's what what's next as far as projects go? Uh, right now I got out I got out that 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 the hottest, the most scorching, you know what I'm saying? The best mix take to drop this month, man. The best mix take to drop this month. Let me show y'all what's going on, man. Let me let me just show y'all. Let me just show y'all what's really going on, man. This is the hottest mix take to drop. I I got on oh yeah, I got on I got on Apple Charts. This song new. I ain't never been on Apple Charts. I, no, got what, Apple I don't Charts. even know what that is. Just explain that to us. Apple Charts are like the top album. Like the top album to drop on their platform. Really? Yeah, I got on there. No low label, no nothing. Oh, man. Congratulations yeah, on that. that man. I got Real. 12 Shades of Grey out now, man. 12 Shades of Grey, man. Y'all go get it. It's a yeah, what, man. Y'all go get it. Y'all go get it, man. 12 Shades of Grey. If y'all can see it, if it's focused, go get it. If it don't, do it. You know what I'm saying? BHMP is at 12 Shades of Grey, man. Y'all go get that, man. We got this hottest song. Hottest song on there. Everything good. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Damn. So so how many streams do you have to get in order to, you know what I'm saying, get on they, uh to get on that? I don't even know. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened. I just oh, got a call man. like, go check. You on the, you on top albums, and I was next to what Kanye West at, at one oh, point in time. Man, you see where I'm at now. <laughs> I, I swear I'm next to Kanye West and shit like that. I'm like, what? Kanye West. How so as an artist, y'all be surprised too. Definitely, definitely surprised. I know I was surprised. Like what? Apple chart. See, man, you gonna be blessed because you <laughs> you seem like a humble person. You know what I'm saying? You just trying yeah, to live your life, get some money, take care of your people. The same way it gets you, the same way you got everything. But yeah. that shit can be gone, and, and I don't see it happen to me. It don't happen to me. Yeah. I don't had a couple peak moments. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have everything snatched away from me to draw. Yeah. I had nothing but my draw. I had to, I had to get back out. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so humble, because I know it all. They can just, in the, in the, yeah. in the snout. You know, right now I got setbacks. You feel me? Like, Shit, like everything, you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta, when you get it, man, you just gotta thank God to keep moving, man. Are you a calculated person? Like, do you, are you careful with every move you make? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. That's why I move so, you know what I'm saying, strategic and just like try to thank everything out before we even do it. Mm. Even with relationships, everything. Like, I call the bro before I even say something to my folk. Like, my girl sometimes might call my partner. Hey, bro, what you think about this? Should I say to the whole what you think? You feel me? Like, right. Even in relationships, like, I, I call the airport, like, what y'all think? Even though, like, you really part of, if it's your person, like, you part to do that on your own, you feel me? But I still just, like, ask. Right. You got people around you that you trust. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So are you are you a crowd type of person? Or are you more of an introvert? I'm an introvert, man. It's crazy that I'm doing music, but I don't even like being, I don't even like people, but, you know what I'm saying? I had, I had to adapt. I don't know, adapted though. 
Okay. I ain't got no problem with just being around a lot of people. I still be watchful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, once again, thank you for coming, man, and I appreciate you and your manager for setting it up. Yes, and, sir. Uh, <laughs> much love and uh, respect, man. Shout out, boy, Spacer McGrady, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Spacer McGrady, man. Shout out BHM Fat. Shout out the whole Gray, man. Hey, man. Shout out Music Heads, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's happening, man. Y'all know what's happening.